Croker, the bullfrog. Not long ago, in a crystal clear river near a small town lived two very big fish. In fact, they were so big that they were not afraid of anything. They swam anywhere they wanted. They tangled the lines of the children fishing in the river. They ate when they were hungry and they splashed anyone sitting on the riverbank. They were the big, brave rulers of the crystal clear river. One day, a large bullfrog and his family moved into the area. The bullfrog saw the two big, brave fish in the crystal clear river and wanted to talk to them, but he was afraid. He didn't know a lot about the crystal clear river or the big, brave fish that lived there and was afraid of being eaten. For a long time he watched the big brave fish, the crystal clear river and everything around him to make sure it was safe. The bullfrog was very smart and used his common sense to guide him. Then with a mighty hop he jumped into the crystal clear river to introduce himself. I'm Croker, the biggest and the smartest bullfrog in the world, he said. Is that so, replied one of the fish. We are the biggest and bravest fish in the crystal clear river. The other fish looked at Croker and said, If you are nice, we may let you share our water. The three talked and talked over for some time. The two big brave fish and Croker became friends. Every day, the three of them would meet at the same spot in the crystal clear river to eat, talk and play. Late one evening, as the three were talking, two fishermen passed by. Croker saw them and common sense told him to hop into the water and hide under the bank. The two big brave fish slowly swam in circles so the fishermen could see how big they were. One of the fishermen saw them and said, Mmm, this crystal clear river has some really big fish. Let's come back tomorrow morning and catch them. As the fishermen turned away, they discussed what type of bait might work best to catch the brave fish. Worms, one said. No, it's sausages, said the other one. And they continued their discussion as they walked the twisty path along the crystal clear river's edge. The two big brave fish and Croker overheard the fishermen. My friends, said Croker, did you hear what they said? You should swim away and hide. I'm afraid they may catch me and eat me, so I will take my family to the nearby pond to where it's safe. The two big brave fish bubbled out laughs as they jumped in and out of the water. One said, my dear friend, the bullfrog friend, don't be frightened of them, that's mere talk. Croker looked at the two big brave fish and said, I would rather be safe than sorry. From what I heard, they might come back, so I will leave with my family to the safety of the other pond. Croker left and the two big brave fish swam in the bottom of the crystal clear river. The next morning, just after sunrise, the two fishermen returned to the crystal clear river where they had been the day before and seen the two big brave fish. They walked slowly and quietly, as so not to disturb them. Look, whispered one of the fishermen, there they are. The fishermen gently cast their bait and let them slowly drift into the current to attract the big brave fish. It worked. In moments, they each hooked one of the big brave fish and then the battle between the fishermen and the fish began. The big brave fish used all their tricks to free themselves. They dived deep, they swam fast, they leapt from water thrashing their tails and their heads in an attempt to get free. The battle raged for over 10 minutes but in the end, the big brave fish were no match for the fishermen. They were caught. 
Croker watched from the safety of the tall grass that separated the pond from the riverbank of the crystal clear river. Ah, oh, the anglers were excited. Each had caught a big brave fish on their first cast of the day. What a story they had to tell when they returned home. Croker carefully hopped back out of the pond and told his family what he had seen. Both my brave fish friends were very talented, but still they were caught. But I, with my common sense, saved my family. I will miss them. We have to learn a lesson from this, said Croker to his family at the first sign of danger. Use common sense quickly and save yourself.